All right, guys, so if this is absolutely horrible to watch, the camera is 100% in my way while I'm doing this. So I haven't decided if I'm going to call this a win, a fail, a really bad learning experience. Um, that's bad. My tabs did cut in here. Let's see, come on, focus. Yep. Those are my only two tabs that made it actually onto the wood. So here's why I use clamps and double sided sticky tape. Because sometimes that double sided tape really saves your butt. So let me pop this off and it might be easier for you to see it. Come on, off the board. Okay. That's where my tabs are. Look how thin that came out. Not what I was going for. I probably lost it looks like a good millimeter and a half to two millimeters where I actually cut the tabs completely into my wood. Um, actually, my, mil my tabs are four millimeters thick, so I lost four millimeters on this. I use a four by four millimeter tab when I, when I do this stuff. So, yeah, completely cut the tabs out of the waste board. And this is why I use a waste board. Otherwise, I would have really messed up my the bed of my machine. But it looks really, really good. Beware of dog. The dog is always hungry and you look tasty. I think these are words to live by, guys. Um, I'm going to hit this with some sandpaper and clean it up some. I think my problem with this is I'm just not that used to doing the bit changes yet. And I kind of knew that one of my bits was off when I was working with it. And it looks like I have a big fugly spot in my wood here. That's actually the, the grain of the wood is really messed up right there. So clean this up and we'll see what we get guys. Oh, and the top of the bowl. I think I need to switch this design to a circle finish. Instead of a back and back finish, do a circle finish on this design. Um, the back of the bowl is kind of messed up. And I shot some still frames. I'll throw some still frames in here for you too. Um, it just doesn't look as good as I'd want it to. But we're going to hit it with some sandpaper and go put some tongue oil on it and see what we get. Maybe we'll have something beautiful for my house and we'll make another one for sale. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, this is a picture that everyone wants to always see on, on the social media sites where we take the, the tongue oil and we dunk it, dump it on the beautiful wood. And on camera, it looks like there's some magical transformation of the wood. And it becomes this beautiful thing. So here it is for you guys. Changing that dull piece of wood into just just a piece of beauty Yes, I oil both sides. No, you don't have to. There you go, guys.
Beware of dog. The dog is always hungry and you look tasty. Now that guy's right there, that be redneck funny.